Lately, we've seen an uptick in people dying after hurricanes, and a lot of these deaths are preventable. Blame it on the summer heat and humidity. The only way to fight it is with a generator. Unfortunately, many times they're used incorrectly with deadly consequences. If a storm knocks your power out during hurricane season, it's likely that high heat and summer humidity will follow. So many people turn to generators to keep their AC on. But after Hurricane Ida, at least six people died from carbon monoxide poisoning. So what do you need to do to keep safe when running your generator? I spoke with Jefferson Parish Fire Chief Don Robertson. If you are going to use your generator, we want your generator to be at least five foot. We would prefer 15 foot from the back of your residence or wherever you're going to use it. When we don't need it, we'll keep that generator in our garage, right? But when we do, we need to get this outside so we don't have carbon monoxide buildup. I asked Chief Robertson why the garage is in a good space. Because even though the door could be open, it is still going to build carbon monoxide fumes. To add another layer of protection, I spoke with fire education officer Randy Cookmeyer. We highly recommend that you purchase a, a carbon monoxide detector and place it in your house at thermostat height or whatever the directions tell you on the box. And the best place to install it is in your bedroom so it can alert you while you sleep. By following these suggestions, you can sleep well knowing you've done the best to protect you and your family. Thank you for joining us. And we hope you take this time to finalize your plans and truly get ready now. Don't forget, download the WDSU mobile app and turn on all of the alerts. It's a free download in the Apple app and Google Play Store. Thanks for watching.